for this week's prepping data we're working with strings and as everyone knows strings are quite fun to work with because they can come with a few challenges so we're looking at our input data here which is incidents that have happened on aircrafts and we have our record id and our instant description here so it's in quite a consistent format which many i know will use regex to pass out into the desired fields but i chose a different approach uh, to give you a different way of looking at it so let's just zoom in to see how these fields are structured so we have our aircraft then the word at or the word near then we have our location and the word on before our date and our date is always ending with a comma before it goes into the instant description and that's consistent across all of our um, rows so that's good that it's consistent it means that we've got some ho hope of passing this out so rather than using regex we are going to be replacing the words at and the words near with uh, vertical pipes so I've put a space either side of the word at and a space either side of the word near just so that it isn't taking anything from the middle of words we just want those where it's you know a word on its own so we go ahead and do that and we do the same for the word on we could have made that all in one calculation but I just thought for clarity of showing you I'd split it into two so now when we go ahead into our next step and we hit split values custom split type in the pipe and say the first two fields then we get these two fields here location and aircraft now for the date we are able to say okay in our instant field i want you to replace um, anything that's all we've already passed out so the aircraft and the location replace that with nothing so that then we get these double pipe at the start of our values here but then we have the date and a comma so now we can just split on that and use the custom split and say hey take off the first um, field before the comma and that will give us our date prefaced by a couple of pipes i know but not a problem and the great thing about tableau prep is that if we choose to change this into a date now then just changing that data type will turn it into a nicely formatted date for us so that was nice and easy too so finally we're just going to look at the instant description and we're going to use that original um, that duplicated field that we duplicated just because we've messed up our sort of other one because there were ons in the instant description itself so from that duplicated instant field we split off everything after the comma so we do the split the custom split the comma and just say the last one field and that gets us our instant description once we rename it so i can just get rid of the couple of extra columns there and we're already ready now if we remove the row id to output our first data set which is the instant list so that's great now we come on to looking at um, the category of those instants how do we categorize them so we split up we do an automatic split this time on our instant description so split those values automatic oops that's going to generate them all over again let me just undo that so it doesn't um, make our workflow crazy um, and we get these 11 fields for it splitting up we then pivot them using the wildcard pivot to on the word split to find them all so we have basically every single word on its own row but we have the record id so we still know which ones are associated with which and then it comes to some grouping now i chose to do my grouping by pronunciation and then to manually go through and check what groups it had made uh, just to check that we weren't absorbing anything that we didn't want to if you've got a better way of doing it then please do let me know because that was a little bit time consuming so then we bring in our category data set so that is 10 values for the categories and we join those together and we can see that a lot of um, we're getting a lot of rows falling out here where they're not um, instance that we're interested in reporting and then we aggregate these up counting distinctly the record id just in case we had any um, duplication going on there but you probably could use the number of rows as well that would probably uh, give you the same answer and then we just do a bit of renaming of fields so that we can output our category totals output too so that i hope that was 
clear um, for this challenge and thank you very much for watching.